Hey Aquarius, how are you? It's me, Lauren B. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. As always, Aquarius, these readings are timeless. So when you get here is when you get here. And all 12 of the zodiac sign readings, they're all for you. They're all part of the collective story. So, you know, maybe it's your moon sign this week and it's your Venus sign next week. Just go by title, go by timestamp, wherever you're kind of drawn to. I got really grouchy before I sat down to do your reading like out of nowhere I was like why am I so grouchy like I don't even know what I'm mad about <coughs> I just feel like irritated right like maybe it's the the full moon energy starting to starting to rear its ugly head at you Aquarius um <clears throat> but I was sitting here thinking how grouchy I felt and I heard Groucho Marx and Groucho Marx is a comedian. He was very well known for his kind of like his satire, like his one liners. And the um, thing that's really interesting about Groucho Marx is that he was um, a nihilist, which is a belief system that life is pretty much meaningless. So there's no like religious or moral code that needs to be adhered to because none of this matters. Um, and there's something, which is a little sad, but there's something about like that energy where it's like, Things might be coming in and like irritating you and it's almost just like, you know what, this doesn't even matter. It, it doesn't even matter. It's trying to also like make jokes, make jokes. A lot of comedians um, kind of use their own pain and, and suffering and unfortunate situations that they've been in to um, uh, uh, make jokes about, right? It's like a form of catharsis. So you might um, be taking any frustration or obstacles you're dealing with right now or feeling um, and trying to like make jokes about it or make light of it, right? Because it's like, this doesn't even matter. I don't it doesn't even matter that I'm mad. It doesn't even matter this thing's happening. Like as a form of like catharsis, trying to make yourself like feel better. Maybe just trying to look at the glass half full, a coping mechanism. Maybe it's disassociation. I don't know. But we're going to use the light series tarot for you. Let, let's pray because there's already stuff flying out. Father God, thank you for bringing me an Aquarius in today. I ask that you give me wisdom, clarity, and discernment to deliver these messages accurately for Aquarius' highest of love, light, alignment, and assignment. We praise you, we love you, we thank you always to the utmost high. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, Aquarius. So, <clears throat> in your first house, we have the Nine of Wands in reverse. Upright, this is, um, it could be a little defensive. It's like having boundaries, but it's also like really determined. It's like a wounded warrior energy. In reverse, it's like, you don't feel determined. It's like, just let the walls down. Just let it, just let the armies invade. It doesn't even matter anymore. It like, it really feels like that. The Office, some of you guys are big Office fans. It's like that kind of sense of humor. I don't know. I don't watch The Office. I know. I know. I don't watch a lot of TV though. Um, but that just that just came through. I, that's something. That's a news direct for someone. But just like just let the armies invade. None of this even matters. I don't even care. Wounded warrior. I'm not fighting with you people. It like literally feels like that, right? It's like maybe someone's trying to like get your goat. Someone's trying to get you riled up, and you're just like, I just I'm just too tired. I just don't care. I just I left my last fuck at home, guys. Sorry. It like it, it feels like that. Um, in your second house of value, you have the two of pentacles, which is a little bit of like trying to find that balance, right? Between something that's a little bit like dark, a little bit more transparent and something or something that's light and more transparent and something that's a little bit darker and heavier. It's like, there's like a density here. It's a little bit the struggle with the juggle. It's like, do I care? Uh, not really. I uh, do it. Do I really not care? Uh, maybe I care a little bit. Again, it's like trying to find that balance between like your light and your dark nature. You might be going through like a shadow period and you're trying to like integrate your holes right now. Um, why don't you just tell me a dirty joke? Stop it, Aquarius. It's fucking annoying. Stop it. Like, oh, I hate you guys. No, I don't hate you guys. Um, it's like so like juvenile. There's like juvenile. It's like juvenile jokes you're like telling me in my head. It's like pull my finger. It's like what? I don't know what's going on. It's really weird energy for you. I don't, I don't normally pull in this energy for you at all. That's why I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Even I'm like, throw me off a little bit. So strange. Again, maybe someone is like doing this to you. Right? Someone's being a little juvenile. They have like weird, dirty jokes. They're like, and you're just, it like almost would be annoying and frustrating, but it's like, you're such an idiot. I don't even care. I can't even be mad. It like, even I'm saying words like idiot and like hate and like stuff like that that like I normally don't say. So I, I, again, I'm like, it's like a weird energy that you're either harnessing or is kind of being thrown at you. Um, in your third house of communication, you have the queen of pentacles in reverse. The queen of pentacles in reverse is really independent. It's like all about mama. 
kind of energy because upright she's like really nurturing she's taking care of everyone it's like working mom busy lady busy guy sort of energy um you she receives in which to give out to other people and what's being communicated it feels like to you is almost like Aquarius just like pull back just stay under the radar just focus on yourself just like stay independent from like everything and everyone else right now because people people have a lot of moving parts all around you it's almost like you are the center of like a solar system and you're the only thing that's like staying solid and there's a lot of like good stuff and there's like a lot of weird juvenile janky stuff and you're just trying to like almost like stay net neutral it's just like come what may whatever it doesn't even matter it's like a little bit like that and it feels like that's kind of the advice it's like just stay net neutral just just lean with it rock with it aquarius and again, if someone like, it's gonna, I'm using words like hate and like idiot and like, and I never like use those words really because they're kind of mean and it doesn't agree with my rising Libra. Um, and you're so sweet, right? That again, you might be integrating aspects of your shadow in right now too, which might make you feel like a little gritty or like a little rough around the edges. Or you might be like incorporating these elements of like crass humor that maybe you like don't normally do home so in your fourth house at home you have the moon right so it's like I don't know what's coming my way again it's almost like I just did the the octopus animal totem video I think I I think it's coming up Friday Friday I scheduled it for and it's a little bit again under the radar it's like I can't see anything because the moon are things that are hidden things that haven't been shown to you things that you don't know about yet you're like you know what there's some I don't know what's coming around the corner I feel something's coming around the corner but I don't know what it is so just like come what may bring the army in, bring the blessing in, just bring it whatever. It's like, you can't hurt me anymore, right? It's like that kind of energy. It's like, you know, when like a mom gets mad and she's like, I have kids, you can't hurt me. What? King of Cups. So in your fifth house of pleasure, you have the King of Cups, which is really emotionally balanced and control. It's like, I'm aware of my emotions. I'm aware of other people's emotions. But I'm just going to close my eyes. I'm going to try and find this inner stillness so I don't lose my mind on these people. He's he's really controlled. He he understands emotions in, inwardly and that of other people. But he doesn't let them control him. He stays very net neutral. And again, that's part of this um, recognizing the light and the dark. Not only um, in situations and in other people, but also within yourself. And just trying to maintain control, stability, and that net neutrality. It's basically, you're just valuing really keeping your shit together right now. So in your sixth house, this is your house of health. Um, so mental, physical, emotional, spiritual. Um, but it's also like that day-to-day -day sort of energy because it's Virgo. So it's really detail-oriented. You have the fool, which is faith. And this, again, underneath this house of communication, it's almost like the divine saying to you, Aquarius, just focus on yourself. Like just namaste your ass try and find the humor in it if you possibly can right um and just maintain faith just lean into your faith it's all gonna work out i know i know you can't really see your ass from your elbow right now but it's all gonna work out so just like just be cool just lean into your faith we got you we got you it's like a woosa it's like a woosa so in your seventh house of relationships you have the page of pentacles in reverse i just heard like everybody's fucking around like again it's like this really crass energy it's like almost like at your wits end it's a little bit at your wits end it's like when your mom gets really frustrated and then it's like instead of yelling at you she just like pops a bottle of wine and it's just like just go away i don't care what you eat i don't care what you do just get away from me just get away from me everyone's fucking around right now it, it feels a little bit like that um also people not um investing people not investing in you because the page is someone who like starts the process of an investment of planting seeds of carrying out some kind of project carrying out some kind of project so you might be feeling as though other people aren't doing that with you or for you maybe excluding you a little bit and you're like you know what i don't even care ghost me i dare you to ghost me my name is casper i could care less right or you could be doing this with other people like i got enough of my own bullshit i don't need to deal with you i don't need to deal with you right now mm -mm. mama out papa out aquarius out so unusual i mean and i did say something about like disassociation um at the beginning of your read and uh, as a sign like you can emotionally like be a little distant sometimes um which can fall into unhealthy kind of mechanisms um at points but um sometimes it's it's not sometimes it's not um yeah <laughs> So in your eighth house of death and rebirth, you have the hermit. This is exactly what you're doing. You're like, you know what? My birthday season's over. 
I'm so sick of all you people. I'm going back in my little hermit shell. I'll, I'll see you in spring. I'm gonna ride out the rest of this winter season by myself. And again, you're kind of um, levitating. Do you see? It's like trying to find the stillness, trying to re-find your inner light in the midst of what might, you might be going through like a dark night of the soul, but it really feels like you're just doing a lot of shadow work and integrating right now. And when that happens, it, it does make us um, a little rough around the edges. It can make us a little gritty and, and prone to snap at people. But I think you know that that's not really like your higher self. And so you're just kind of withdrawing. It feels more for their safety than for yours, if that makes any sense. So you're just kind of withdrawing back into your hermit shell. So that way you can kind of ascend back to like your normal vibration and, and figure out how to harness, how to harness your light right in the midst of of your encompassing shadow darkness but also other people's as well it feels like other people's shadow is like trying to lure yours um which is fine for the for the point of like integration but um you also like are trying not to <clears throat> let your shadow um because your shadow is supposed to be a help to you right it's supposed to be like your alarm system your alert system um it's not supposed to have control over you because it, it will play you out it will play you out of your position real fast and i don't think you want that um, which is why you're kind of, again, retracting for, for their safety, not so much for yours. In your ninth house of spirituality and higher learning, your Sagittarius house, you have the nine of swords in reverse. So this is nice. Again, um, in, in the past, it might be very easy for you to become very overwhelmed and very stressed out by a lot of these people or a lot of these situations or even just these the the variety, the, the extreme, it feels like an extreme duality um, of, of emotions that you may be feeling and they might be keeping you up and stressed and anxious and like all that kind of stuff but by being able to sort of unplug a little bit still aware of your emotions other people's emotions things that are going on but by but being able to kind of unplug a little bit fly a little bit at like half mass right you're able to take yourself out of that energy and because it's in your house of higher learning um I, I think that by looking through old experiences you realize that it, I'm hearing like I can't afford like I can't afford to be getting upset like that I can't afford to be um tired in the morning because i was up late crying my eyes are puffy i can't deal with this bullshit right it's like i'm just gonna have faith that this is gonna work out i'm gonna focus on me i'm gonna go back in my hermit shell my phone's on do not disturb see you later see you later um call, what is that green day song wake me up when september comes it's a little bit like that like wake me up in spring I i'll see i'll see you guys in a few weeks i'll see you guys after the full moon okay so in your 10th house of ambition you have the five of pentacles in reverse so this is nice this is coming out of scarcity mindset poverty mindset feeling isolated rejected abandoned all of that stuff and being in your house of ambitions this is something that you you don't want to feel right you, you and underneath this page of pentacles in reverse as well that there could be people that like haven't wanted to play your reindeer games they haven't been working with the program or these people can't get their shit together right maybe it's in business for you right because capricorn is a very um much of a house of uh, uh discipline it's right it's ruled by saturn for some of you guys this is actually having to do with your kids because they're showing me discipline like disciplinarian like they won't listen they won't work the program kind of thing and it might be um affecting your self-worth right if if you know if they freaking actually cared about me if they actually wanted to make this business work if they actually wanted this house to like run somewhat smoothly then they'd get with the program but they're not and so instead of kind of internalizing it and making it something about you feeling rejected or abandoned or left out or i don't have enough or any of that stuff you're like I don't even care. I'm just going to wait it out. It's like just going to ride out the storm. I'm just going to ride out the storm, right? Groucho Marx. I'm just going to find the silver linings. I'm going to have me a drink and I'm going to have me a little laugh. I'm going to have me a little laugh at this. <laughs> so in your 11th house, it's your house of friendship, your, your Casamigos. What the hell? Um, you have the devil. So that pretty much sums it up right there. So this could be um, low vibrational energies. This could also be codependencies, toxic habits, bad habits, um, negative self-talk, um, temptation, different temptations, right? And again, it's like this hermiting. Do you see this hermiting? It's like the devil's like, Aquarius, you want to come clap back? You want to pop off? You ready to lose your shit? And you're like, I'm just going to ascend all the way up here. I'm going to go sit in my hermit shell. Um, I'll come back when you leave, devil. I'll be back when you leave the premises, when these kids get back into their right mind, when you decide that you want to work with me appropriately in this business at this job, when you decide that you're with the shit in this relationship, when all of you guys stop dicking around, I'll, I'll descend back down onto the earth plane. Thank you very much, Satan. Not today, Satan. Not today. 
And again, it's like I was saying, um, a lot of this has to do with like the people in your environment too, like triggering you or their shadow, right? It's in your house of friendship. Their shadow is like egging your shadow on, but your higher self is like, don't you do it. It's like those memes um, when it's like, when I'm about to say something stupid or when I'm about to scream at someone and it's like, and then my guide step in, it's like, it's like one of the spirit guides, like holding your mouth. It feels a little bit like that. It's like your guides, your angels, your higher self are like, just shut up Aquarius, just go in the other room. Just go in the other room. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so in your 12th house, it's your Piscean house, it's your house of secrets, um, things that may not be known to you yet or potentially known to others. You have strength, the chair. Oh, I just realized that, wow. Strength, the chariot, and the lovers. Eight, seven, six, it's a countdown. It's almost like counting the days. And I'm, look, they're bringing me back up to the moon card. I think you really do just have to get through this full moon. I think you really just have to get through this full moon. I think you're going to feel a lot better afterwards. Um, because the full moons are um, purging energies. And because it's in Virgo, again, it's like Virgo full moon is like really nitpicky. It's really, really nitpicky. So again, it's like grinding on your last nerve. These little tiny details. The devil's in the details. Little nitpicking kind of... It's like a little bit <laughs> like that. So it's almost like the secret is just be strong. Hold on tight. You're moving through it. You're going to move past this energy really soon. And you're going to move back into an energy of love. Right? This doesn't necessarily feel romantic over social over. It just feels because the lovers is Gemini. Right? So again, the angel and the devil. It's, it's a choice. It's a card of choice. So just bide your time. Just go isolate yourself in your, in your cavern. You're moving through this energy. Chariot is successfully moving through this energy, which makes me feel like everyone's going to stay alive and healthy through this process. And you'll be able to just successfully move back into a, an energy of love where the world is loving to you again. And you love the world and life has meaning and you're not a nihilist and you don't feel so grouchy anymore. And so that is really nice. That's really good. So just, and again, eight, seven, six, it's just abiding your time. Just let it flow. So Aquarius, I am going to go over on the Patreon and I'm going to keep pulling cards for you. Thank you guys for being here and watching this. I, I'm pulling for you. We're all rooting for you, sweetie, um, to make it, to make it through this. Thank you guys for liking. Thank you guys for commenting. Let me know how you're dealing with these energies. Comment down below and let me know how you're dealing with these energies. If you're interested in the extended reading or any of the monthly readings, the link to the Patreon is going to be in the description box with um, all my social media links in case you want to find me on Instagram or TikTok or any of that kind of stuff. My email for personal readings and all the decks that I use on the channel. This was the Light Sears Tarot, if I didn't mention that. Um, I love you very much. Um, and as always, stay prayed up, stay blessed, stay sweet, and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.